Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we are going to talk about the notification feature on Token. So the first question that comes to my mind is, what is the purpose of notification on Token? So notifications are basically used to inform our customers about updates on their task using SMS, email or webhooks. If you're not aware of what are webhooks, web uh, we'll discuss it in detail in the later stages of the video. Apart from that, Notifications are also used to inform the agents, managers or customers once they are added on the platform or deleted or blocked or is there any update in their profile. So these are kind of the basic functionalities of notifications. Now let us try to see how does this work. So first you need to go on the side menu, go to settings and then you see the notification section here. So if you see the notification section, it is broadly classified into three categories. The first one is here where you can send the notifications to the customer uh, based on the task uh, stages. The second is additional notification where you can send notifications to your customer, agents, managers once they are added on the platform or there is an update or they are blocked. So you can send all those notifications to them. And then there is final in-app notification section where you basically uh, configure the language of the notifications which is sent to the agents or customers in app if they are using customer app and agent app obviously so these are these this is the last section now let's first discuss about this notification section where you send the notification to the customers on the stages of the task like whenever the request is received agent has started agent has arrived successful failed or if there is an update in the task auto location has started or auto location has failed so these are the standard stages where we can inform the customers. Now coming to the modes of uh, notification, we have three SMS, email and webhooks. So whatever SMS and email is configured while creating the task, the SMS and email will be sent to that number or email ID. And the third option is webhook. So webhook, uh, if I try to explain you, so let's just take an example of a third party customer facing platform that can be a web app or a mobile app. So whatever you are using and you have integrated that with Token. So once the tasks are coming from that platform to Token, you'd also want that the updates about the task statuses are sent back to that platform. So the customer is informed that what is the status of the task. So in order to do that, you need to configure webhooks. So I'll just show you how that is done. You just go to this section, click on edit. So you have three options here, SMS, email and webhook. So you can just configure the text whatever text you want to send to uh, on that particular trigger so just uh, let's see that I, I was talking about a request received so I have various tags uh, which are like which can be the custom fields in that uh, task or whatever it is and there are some standard tags which you can use and uh, configure your message like start time start dates customer name these are standard tags which are there uh, for configuration of a particular message you can see the preview over here so whatever the customer name will be there for the task it will be uh, it will be appearing here like i'm sending a task to john so hi john your pickup at, uh, request has been received and it will be scheduled to the date and before the time so that's the standard message you can just configure it as per your choice so this is the sms sms notification then coming up to email we also have a similar way where you can just configure whatever text you want to send in the email uh, email you can see the preview as well if you want to attach some pdf you can just attach that so this is again configurable totally configurable as per your choice now coming up to the final section that is webhooks which i was mentioning about so this is the url this can be any other url so this is just a url i have just entered so you can enter any url where you want to send the uh, webhook and this is a secret key which will basically verify that this webhook is sent by token account so that you know that the webhook that is coming is verified and it is the uh, original one you don't get webhook from some other platform so this is kind of validation key and these are the three formats in which you want the data to be sent in those webhooks right so i think if you're not very much aware about what webhooks are maybe you can just connect with our team or if you have a development team just they'll be aware of how the webhook functionality works so these are the kind of three modes where uh, by which you can send the notifications and you can similarly configure all the text and template for uh, any of those statuses as per your choice.
now just as pickup we also have delivery notification so let's assume that you are uh, booking orders where the pickup is done from some restaurant and delivery is done to the customer addresses you want certain number of uh, notifications to be triggered for uh, the pickup but some certain different number of notifications for your delivery for example for the restaurant you just want that they should get a notification when their request is received but for the customer you want notification for every other every stage of their task so you can just configure it differently for pickup and delivery that is one option uh, apart from that for example let's just the, the example which I have mentioned that there is a pickup done from the restaurant and delivered to a customer. So once the delivery is done, you also want the uh, restaurant to be informed that delivery is done. Then how do you do that? So you can add delivery notification from here. So you just select that whenever a task is successful, you can just uh, select one of uh, the number where you want to send the notification. For example, the select the pickup phone number, which is basically the uh, uh, phone number of the restaurant owners right so you can just send them a notification about the delivery successful to the pickup phone number as well so this way you can have a configuration where you can also send a delivery notification to the pickup address or vice versa depending on your requirement so we have this flexibility as well you can just select the trigger select the number pickup or delivery or any custom number as well if you want you can just do that so this was a uh, notification for pickup but if you have like certain other workflow like appointment or field workforce so the notification section will change accordingly because in appointment there is only one, only one task so you'll be able to see this only one, uh, one uh, set of uh, notification now coming up to additional notification so we have all these notification where you can send sms email or web books and the same way you can also configure them uh, if you see so we have the similar option over here so it says the text which is, which is standard you can configure it at your uh, end so all these triggers uh, as you can see add customer update customer add agent update agent all those options delete customer add manager so these are all the triggers where you can just inform the managers customers or agents whenever there is an update in the profile right so this is pretty much standard you can also have as just as whenever someone forgets the password you can send them email ids and uh, sms as well they'll get this uh, sms notifications now coming up to the final section that is in-app notifications so um, as you all know that there are number of in-app notifications sent to the agents and customers so you can also configure the text of those uh, notification so if you want to change the language of the app, you can do that from the settings in the app, but there are certain notifications sent from token. So if you want to configure the text of that notification, you can do it from here. So I'll just tell you how you can do it. So let's say we have the categories over here in the notification type. So where we have a list of all those notifications which are sent in app. So you can just select one notification. Just take the example new task app notification. So whenever an agent receives a new task in their not in their app, so this is the message that we send. So if you want to send something else like a new order, so you can just write here as new order is available, and this is how they'll say it. So you can just configure if, if you want to change it to some other language. You can just type the message here, and that is what they'll see in their app. So similarly, we have other notifications as well. So let's see multiple task multiple task available so if you if they like whenever there are multiple tasks in their app and you want to send them a message so you can just configure it here as well you will also be using custom here tags so if you see the tags so tags are kind of uh, common numbers like the delivery count or pickup count wh whatever count is there for this particular message so n number of pickups and Z, z number of deliveries are available so these are the two tags you can just configure the tags and this is how they'll see in their app there's another set here so what's the difference between the top one and this one so basically this was a standard message but here we have a broader category and then we have subcategory so if you see change of status message that is a broader category and it has several other messages like for assignment accepted stated completed and all those things so just select one you can select the tag if there is a tag like fleet call fleet as so you can call your fleet as drivers um, agents or whatever you call that that is a tag 
and the message over here so this is the broader category there is a subcategory and this is the tag and this is the final message you want to configure so the process is same it's just that this is a single message which you can just configure there is a broader category and a subcategory so this is how you configure uh, the notifications that are sent to your drivers or customers these are basically if you see the change of status message these are sent to the customers when they are uh, they have placed an order and whenever there is a change in the status of the order this is the message which they get and you can just configure uh, the text once you have done with done with that you can just update it and you are done with the notification so i think this was pretty much about the notification section if you want to know more you can just click here as learn more and you will just be directed to the guide and you can see uh, any other information if you want to see right if you have any other doubts please feel free to reach us out and if you want to have any additions in this feature we'll be happy to discuss all those things thanks a lot